Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own loading bar in GIMP. <coughs> so uh, first what we're going to do is open up a new image. Around 600 by 300. 640 by 300 is good. <coughs> and we're just going to fill it in with black. Uh, we're going to make a new layer. And then using our rectangular select tool. We're just going to select out an area that we want to be as our uh, loading bar. <coughs> and uh, maybe a little bit smaller like that and I'm go just going to fill that in with this uh, blue color on the new layer and we can select none <coughs> and we're gonna make a new layer and uh, make a uh, pretty long strip <coughs> about that big and fill it in with a dark blue color on the new layer can select none and we're gonna move it to the top around here and then rotate it but first we're gonna have to go layer auto crop layer <coughs> and then uh, rotate it about like that that's good duplicate it click and move it to the right about like that duplicate it move it to the right <clears throat> and you're just going to keep on doing this until you run off the page. I'll be back when I'm done. Alright, and it's okay if they're not spaced out entirely, uh, <clears throat> like the same interval in each time, but just try and make it sort of consistent. So, uh, what we're going to do is, uh, alpha to selection, R, beam, go select, invert, and then using your delete key, press on every little, uh, diagonal line layer and press delete just so that it deletes the outside as so or if you're on a Mac and it doesn't really work you can just press edit cut alright <coughs> we can select none and we've started our loading bar it looks pretty good but not very glossy so uh, what we're going to do is merge down all these layers and uh... My <coughs> there we go and uh, merge it down to the final layer and uh... what we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer on top of it alpha to selection the beam uh... use the rectangular select tool with the mode on subtract from current selection and subtract about the bottom half about like that. <coughs> put Y as your foreground color and then put FG to transparent as your uh, gradient. And on the new layer, stroke up. It's a little bit too much. Like that. That's good. And select none. <coughs> and there's your gloss that you need. You can uh, merge down and I'm just gonna fill in uh, this background with sort of a lightish grayish color like that <coughs> and uh, sorry uh, fill the background in with a lightish grayish color <coughs> and alpha to selection the loading bar make a new layer below it go select grow by one pixel and fill that in with a darker gray can select none just to add a border and now uh, we're gonna go filters blur Gaussian blur and give it a blur of about one all right and uh, merge down <coughs> that gives it a nice effect I think all right so uh, now what you're gonna do to add the text at the top that says um, <coughs> percent complete you're just gonna type in 100 percent and use the color this grayish color that's pretty good move it up there and then go uh, colors <coughs> actually then what you're going to do is go layer auto crop layer and then just center it click on the layer 
and center it like that and move it maybe up a little bit and you can uh... now what you're going to do is alpha to selection it make a new layer below it uh... fill that in with an even darker color maybe like that you can select none then go filters blur gaussian blur and blur by three <coughs> uh... then what you're going to do uh, is uh, move the text layer up a little bit and to the right and keep on doing that just to give it sort of a 3D effect alright and that is how you make your own loading bar in GIMP thanks for watching